Hey guys, what's going on? Today I wanted to make a video talking about the Eagles free agency, but before I get into that, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. My PC unfortunately died and I had to get a new one, but now that I got this new PC, I should be able to make videos much faster. But getting back to what I was talking about, I wanted to grade the Eagles free agency a couple of weeks ago, but the Eagles decided to add a lot more players than I expected. And since then, it definitely changed our draft needs and how I think we'll perform next season. And it makes the Eagles look a lot more interesting than I had anticipated going into next season. So starting off with the biggest signing of this offseason, Alshon Jeffrey. This is an A-plus rating for the Eagles. The Eagles went 7-9 last season without having a true number one receiver and our offense was terrible. Now Carson Wentz has a true number one receiver to throw to which makes the offense for the Eagles much more potent and I'm very happy with this. Not only will Alshon have a direct impact by catching passes, but he also takes pressure away from Jordan Matthews and Zach Ertz, which should definitely help the offense tremendously. Next, the Eagles decided to sign another wide receiver in Torrey Smith. I would give this a C plus rating maybe. Torrey Smith was a massive disappointment in San Francisco, but you also have to consider that the 49ers don't really have a good offense to begin with. Torrey Smith is really sort of a one-trick pony. He's only a deep threat, and that's pretty much the whole reason the Eagles decided to sign him. Uh, he has the speed to get downfield and create separation and take the top off of defense, but there are some questions. Is he as fast as he, as he used to be? Uh, is he... You know, is he still capable of playing? And if he can play the way he did with the Ravens a few years ago, this will be an awesome pickup. But if he plays the way he did with the 49ers, it won't be a huge loss because the Eagles signed him to a very cheap contract that focuses entirely on incentives. So if he performs well, he stays on the team. If he doesn't, he gets cut and we don't take a big loss. So overall, I'd say this is a decent pickup. I'm sort of happy with this. The third free agent signed is offensive lineman Chance Warmack. I would give this one a C rating. It's not the best pickup, but it does give us depth on that O-line, which we desperately need. Warmack's main issue is that he's been slow to develop, but he has just the raw size and talent to be a starter on the O-line. Whether he's a starter or not, I am satisfied with this signing, especially after the disaster of an O-line we had last year. Next, the Eagles re-signed former starting quarterback Nick Bowles. This is a B rating. Uh, it's not the best. I'm, I'm very happy about it, but it, from you know the perspective of what he has, uh, it's, it's okay. Chase Daniel was set to make way too much money, so he needed to be cut regardless, and they decided to bring in Nick Foles to be Carson's backup. I like this move for a couple of reasons. The main reason being is that he just left the Chiefs, and the Chiefs run a very similar offense to the Eagles, so Foles should have no problem adapting to the Eagles offense, and I really see Foles as one of the best backups in the league. I'm hoping Carson Wentz doesn't go down, obviously, but in the event that he does, I would have no problem with Nick Foles being the starter again. The fifth free agent the Eagles signed was Chris Long, former defensive end for the Patriots. Uh, I guess I would give this a B. Chris Long is a bit older and not really the best edge rusher in the game, but he is solid. And to that point, the Eagles don't really need a top tier edge rusher because they constantly swap out players as the game goes on. So I think it's a good pickup, I guess, especially after the release of Connor Barwin. Uh, but not the best. It's just, you know, he kind of just fills a hole. We'll have to see how he plays out when the season starts. The sixth free agent the Eagles signed was cornerback Patrick Robinson. This is a tough one to rate because when he's healthy, he's a pretty decent corner, but his biggest weakness is that he really struggles with injury. Overall, I'd say it's a decent signing, maybe a C grade, but it's not the best, you know? It gives us depth at the cornerback position, but like I said, if he gets injured, he's pretty much useless. It is cheap, so it's not a whole lot of risk. And it really just reminds me of how we signed Leotis McKelvin last year. But unfortunately, I don't think Robinson will perform anywhere near the level Leotis McKelvin did. So, uh, it's just one of those, we needed a corner, but instead of re-signing a corner we signed last year, uh, we just 
took a downgrade. So obviously, corner is still a draft need. This guy really doesn't solve a whole lot, but we'll have to wait and see. And the final player the Eagles added isn't really a free agent. The Eagles traded for him, but I thought it was worth mentioning. The Eagles brought in Timmy Jernigan, the defensive tackle from the Ravens. I'd give this a B rating. Pro Football Focus rated Jernigan as one of the best run-stopping defensive tackles last year, but seeing what we gave up to get him, I think it's very suspicious. All we had to give up was swapping our third round pick with the Ravens, which is definitely uh, detrimental. Um, I believe we went back 25 picks, so that's definitely a big move, but it's really not a whole lot for someone who's rated so high, so I could see some problems there. And this definitely could hurt us, especially if we wanted to get a really good corner in the third. But still, to get a guy that could help against the run and replace Benny Logan is very valuable and it helps us focus on the more important issues in the draft. So overall, not a bad pickup, pretty decent. Overall, I think the Eagles did pretty well this season. I think there's still some rumors going around that the Eagles might sign some more people. I don't know if that's possible. There's very limited cap space I believe we're over right now I think we're going to be cutting uh, Ryan Matthews and DGB but still overall I think this is a decent offseason for the Eagles we got a lot of guys on really short contracts it puts us in a good position to compete next year and I kind of like what we're doing but let me know what you guys think do you like what the Eagles are doing or do you think they're just wasting their time let me know in the comments below, and if you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. I am Motionless Gaming, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.